Today we're going to be using our friend here, the AK-47. This is a Romanian Wasser 10, and I'm going to be shooting some steel targets. Here I've welded up some inch thick, half inch thick, and quarter inch thick plates. And we're going to be shooting some regular ammo, some plastic core ammo, some steel core ammo, and some armor-piercing incendiary ammo. First thing I shot was regular Walmart lead core ammo. This is jacketed lead, nothing special. So my first shot is right here. And we got penetration on that. My second shot with the lead is right here on the half inch. That did not penetrate, but it did make a pretty hefty dent. And my third shot was right here on the one inch. And again, obviously did not penetrate. The next thing I shot was this German ammo. This is metal jacketed plastic. I believe it's got a steel jacket with a plastic core and it's intended for training purposes. My first shot with that was right here. So there's our plastic. Did not penetrate, barely even made a dent. I mean, there's just a very, very mild little dent there. Up here, our plastic on the half inch. Again, barely a, a dent. And then on the one inch, same thing. The results across all three are pretty much the same. Didn't do much at all. The next thing I shot was this Chinese steel core ammo. This probably just has a mild steel core in it instead of lead. So here's my steel core. Penetrated through, no problem on the quarter inch as I expected. On the half inch, did not penetrate. I was really expecting it to, but it didn't. There is a bulge in the back, and it made it almost all the way through. And then, of course, down here on the one inch, didn't penetrate. Did make a nice hefty dent, though. The last thing I shot is this Chinese API. That's armor-piercing incendiary. So on our quarter inch, we have our API. Penetrated, no problem. On our half inch here, API and API. Penetrated. On both of them. We get down to the one inch here. We have API here, API here. I fired off a few extra rounds of the API because, well, that's what you're here to see in this video most likely. On the one inch, 
the API did not penetrate. It almost penetrated all the way through. There's a bulge in the back. We stick this in there. You can see it's almost one inch. We're about a sixteenth away from it penetrating out the back. That one's about an eighth. So this API almost penetrated the one inch steel. Almost, not quite though. Sixteenth inch to an eighth inch away. If I would have had some three quarter inch steel, I can pretty much guarantee you it would have penetrated through it without a problem. My first AK-47 steel penetration video was popular enough that I wanted to make another. I was able to acquire literally a small handful of these old Chinese API rounds for the purpose of this video. I think they were made in 1959. I tossed in the German plastic ammo as a novelty. The regular Chinese steel core I picked up at a local gun shop. It cost about twice the price of the regular Walmart lead ammo. It is old too, I believe from 1975. The conclusions. The plastic core stuff sucks. It didn't penetrate a quarter inch of steel and I question if it would have penetrated an eighth inch. The regular steel core performed no better than standard jacketed lead ammo. Steel core appears to be a waste of money. The API stuff worked fantastic, almost penetrating one inch thick steel plate where the steel core couldn't even penetrate a half inch. Overall, it's unrealistic to acquire and use API ammo. I did it just to make this video. Don't waste your money on steel core either. Standard full metal jacket lead ammunition works good and is more reasonably priced. I hope you found this video interesting and thanks for watching.